What is up everybody? It's the Inhuman one here with part 6 of the Neo playthrough and today because it's so dang hot outside we're gonna be venturing off into the snowy area and hopefully, just hopefully that'll cool us down a little bit. I'm also gonna be uh, munching on some snacks here. I am, I ate already but I am starving so I figured I'd have some cucumbers and stuff to snack on while I'm streaming. So, that'll keep me, uh, keep me alive. We just defeated a spider, I think her name is Judogumo, if I recall correctly. A spider, like, queen, kind of like Quaylag 2.0. Really cool design, I thought. And, um, so we've defeated the boss in the spider nest castle. So, the next thing to do that would make the most sense would be to go to the next mission, which is Falling Snow. Hattori Hanzo says, how strange to see snow falling in June. Oh, how perfect is that, huh? We must do something before the capital completely freezes over. The cold is coming from Honoji Temple. Rumor also has it that a woman's cries echo from the structure every night. Will you look into it, William? I shall. Uh, how funny is that? Winter in June. Hmm. Okay, it says, Honoji, a temple in the northern area of Yamashiro, no Kuni, and the final resting place of Oda Nobunaga, killed just before he was able to realize his ambition of uniting all of Japan. Known as both demon and hero for gaining control of nearly all of Japan with unprecedented speed. Oda Nobunaga was killed in 1582 when he was betrayed by one of his allies, and his sudden death sent shockwaves throughout the land. The betrayer, Akechi Mitsuhide, was himself quickly killed, and his intentions in killing Nobunaga remained shrouded in mystery. Even now, nearly 20 years later, no one enters the temple for fear of the curse of Oda Nobunaga. Interesting. I had no clue. Snack time. Oh gosh. I need to find out what salt does. Let's go ahead and level up since we have 20,000. I don't even know if we can level up more than once. We can't even level up once, actually. I imagine because I'm in a fire area, it is very likely that uh, something like uh, uh, fire talisman, fire amulets, Hyotoko masks, those are all going to be really good for us. We have a great spear. How die? That's a good one. It's got wind as well. The Kabuto axe. I'm going to get rid of all of it. I know it looks cool and stuff, but it's fine. It's fine. Fire damage. I do like that one. Human close combat damage. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Okay. And here I thought the hammer was rare. I was incorrect. I think that's enough cleaning up for now. At least we got the uh, 32,000 Amrita, which is plenty. I like to keep some of the named weapons just because I think they seem to be you know, a little bit more valuable. Ooh, I think I hit a soft cap. I didn't even pay attention. That's okay. That's alright. I hit a soft cap for the uh, body attribute and I went above anyways and just got 25 health and nothing else so that was kind of worthless but that's okay 
Let's go ahead and equip some improved weapons here. So we currently have that to be 369. That's 346. Significantly less strength. 369 enemy damage defeated bonus wind that's got some wind and mid attack key reduction you know these are just better it does have wind though I mean so I could keep it for now just in case it is useful later on but this one right there is pretty worthless weakens melee weapons huh yeah I don't know. Let's get rid of some more stuff. Might as well, because I actually don't need a lot of those spears that I thought I could keep. I'm gonna get rid of that, too. Wind damage. That's a lot more damage. Sadly, the spears is kind of weak. I'm going to keep some of these lower level spears because they have some special effects that I'm hoping that I can somehow roll at a later point. So that's fine. That looks great. That looks really cool, actually. Hmm. Yeah, those are some good pieces there. Alright. Good enough for me for now. So the jutsu that we have currently is the uh, the fire. I'm going to actually go ahead and equip the other items as well. With ice, I'm assuming there's going to be an ice attack or possibly even, um, I'm assuming, like a water damage if it's not ice. So we'll have to look into that for sure. Let's see, I'm looking for a fire amulet. There you go. And since we're here, might as well use all this stuff. Almost 22,000 already. Very good. And I think that's going to be all we can currently use at this time. That's fine. So just a few enemies, and I'm sure we'll have enough to go ahead and... Uh, and level up again. This time we will not level up our body. I think we pretty much got the soft cap there. Let's go pick up this little Odama here. Kodama. And I saw an enemy. Naturally they have tons of health. Oh. Doesn't look fun. It's impervious to that kind of a strike as well, so we have to be careful here. The ice itself seems to be encased in some strange kind of energy. Interesting. Well, I can't hurt it. I could try one of these free. Uh, talisman to see if there's fire damage or anything. Nope. Not at all. Okay, well. Interesting. We'll have to come back to it, I'm sure. Got some arrows. And Hamaya arrows as well. I don't 
another friend over here. Perfect, all right. So far, it's a pretty straightforward little area. We do know that we'll probably be on a higher level at some point in time because we saw some items up above that are just out of reach. That was close. All right, so nothing over here. Guess we'll start making our way up already. We got some Kaikodama and some Horokodamas, little grenades, fire bombs, if you will. You have to go a long way just to grab that item. I wonder if it's worth it. Hey, I haven't seen you guys in a long time. They hate low stance. It's one of my favorite stances. Fast attacks, excellent maneuverability. It's just really balanced, I think. So I can descend, or... I think that's all I can do. I was trying to see if I could find a way up here. That's fine. We'll go around, then. We'll play by their rules for now. We'll find a way back up in just a moment. All right, so nothing there. No ambush? Seems a little quiet. That'll be the shortcut. Let me grab another piece of cucumber really quick. Mm -mm -mm. Bitter emotions. Oh gosh, no. Now my spear has ice powers. I would have preferred to keep the fire, but that's okay. Oh god. This thing. Lovely. Seven strikes. And I'm dead. No worries. Good stuff. Alright, let's go back. We have to get our Amrita back because we spent a lot right there. 20 something thousand. Might as well practice and defeat the rest of these enemies. I'm trying to get better at using the, uh, the key pulse to dodge. There you go. There you go. Nice. Now we're getting it. Fortunately, all of this is pretty simple enemies up until that one point, but it is a yokai that shouldn't be able to respawn after we take him out, so. Ah, oh, for real. Forgot about him. He like belly flopped on the ice. Very nice. 
Let's see if I have any better armor. Damage reduction. That looks pretty cool, actually. It's 121. Definitely want to change my legs if I can. Bare handed attack damage. Hmm. The Raging Bull. We'll go with that. What is this Raging Bull? I see it everywhere now. I think I'm going to wear that. Good enough for me. All right, so that door was locked. This is where the yokai was. Uh, I want to see if I can defeat the ice one first. For some reason, I can't get any hit in. Taking tons of damage there, sadly. That was a nice jump. All right. That was some pretty decent damage, but it wasn't because of the fire, I don't think. That worked. That tongue lash is terrible. And I was damaged, so I couldn't even move out of it. TTV Trudge. Hi, are you reading chat? <laughs> yeah, whenever people chat. I haven't had anybody in yet, so I was just really excited about, I really in, in focused on this boss fight. Long time no talk though, hope you're doing well. TTV Trudge, haven't heard from you in a while. Hope you're doing good. Yeah, no one was in just yet, so I was looking every once in a while. All right, let's see if we can avoid getting Attacked from both angles here. Yeah, I know. My bad. My bad. Wow. We lost 20,000 in reach. That's okay, though. We still haven't found a weakness for those enemies with the long tongues yet. So, I still kind of just dance around them and use high stance when I can and then low stance for maneuverability but they're pretty tough what other games do you stream? Uh, I stream lots of other games mostly all in the same kind of genre so like souls like games so uh, any dark souls game I typically do challenge runs things like that uh, most recently I did a bunch of uh, challenge runs for Elden Ring, like Torch only, uh, I started my Thorns only run, level 1, Bow only, things like that. Uh, and I like to play a lot of Metroidvanias in indie games, so I love my Metroidvanias, that's for sure. I remember you playing, uh, I want to say, shooters for the most part. see if we can take this guy out and then we can heal. Took a lot of unnecessary damage there, unfortunately, but that's okay. Yeah, mostly Souls-like games, anything in this genre. Metroidvania and, and 
any indie games. I love horror games as well, but I haven't streamed any in a while. Um, I was mostly, when I switched over to Twitch, I mostly did uh, Metroidvanias and horror games, and then I switched over to... I revisited my Dark Souls roots, and I just was like, you know what? I usually do all these challenge runs and all that off-screen and off-stream. Why not share them with you guys? And so that's what I started doing. And it's been so much more fun, because I love these games. These are my favorite types of games. Nice and challenging. Well, I didn't realize I was in high stance, but that's okay. No worries. Alright, see if we can aggro this guy. And okay, I was going to try and avoid that. Did not work. Okay. Lovely. Lovely. Did no damage. And I'm going to get Tongue Lash. Okay. Go. Do it. This guy has all kinds of attacks. Dodge. Okay. Lovely. No! Tongue Lash. Could have killed me there. That definitely could have killed me. Oh my gosh. I don't have any heals. That's why I'm not healing. Alright, we took him out, but barely. Yeah, shooters. I like action. Same. Same here. We can save this little Kodama right over here. Guide him over to the shrine. And let's see. I did get an elixir for that, so I am going to use it. Um, let's see if we can knock this down. Most other games allow you to kind of hit those little rocks and knock them down. Let's see. Can we, can we do it? We can. Look at that. A spirit iron fragment that's probably going to be used for the uh, the blacksmith. As per usual, these doors cannot be opened from this side. Same thing here, sadly. There you go. There's an enemy behind me. Oh my gosh. I saw the blue glowing crystals at the very end. <laughs> Let's see. Trudge says... Also, do you have any goals for like, the end of the year, like your follow goal on Twitch? Um, you know, I'm going to be honest with you. For After I got my like a few hundred, like a hundred um, followers, the growth has really started slowing down significantly. So I was like, wow, I, you know, I kept streaming, you know, but I had to adjust my schedule as well because now it's summertime. So my availability is a little bit different. So things definitely slowed down a lot, and I was like, you know what, I need to continue taking care of what my bread and butter is, which is my YouTube, creating content on YouTube. So my goals that I have set forth are for YouTube primarily. I don't necessarily have any kind of quantitative goals to meet on Twitch. Other than I want to just continue, you know, I want to continue growing my following. I'd hope to have, you know... Like 500 maybe, but that's kind of a stretch. Especially considering how slow growth is by the end of the year. But if I was to put a number on it, I'd love to have 500 followers at the end of the year. I can try and help you grow on Twitch. Well, sure, that'd be great, man. I mean, if, if uh, I'd love to support you as well if if that's what you do. The the whole people that got me into Twitch, actually, were... Um, they were it was a Discord from the... Uh, the game and watch bros and and one of the uh, the owners of that discord was just a really cool guy and he's really supportive and he had pretty much created a discord community that was based around growing and supporting small uh, twitch streamers so I've still stayed in touch with him and I watch him stream as often as I can and he does the same and we just still support each other and it's really awesome because at first you know I was kind of intimidated by the twitch community but I realized that it's really friendly actually there's a lot of cool people and a lot of people want to see you succeed, so it's it's really nice, and I, I appreciate that as well from you. I love streaming, and I do it, you know, five days a week. Um, but I would love for it to be a bigger part of my, my you know, my business. Because right now I'm a full-time content creator. I I was laid off back in September of last year, and ever since, and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna use that opportunity to pursue my my dream of being a full-time content creator, and. At the time, I, I wasn't even doing anything on Twitch just yet. 
and I was doing only YouTube, but I said, you know what, I need to go ahead and expand my horizons a bit, and I, I went ahead and switched over from streaming on YouTube to streaming on Twitch, and then, you know, managing my other three channels on YouTube as well, so. I have 225 followers. My aim is at 500 at the end of the year. Nice. That's very, that seems very doable. That's, that's a very, uh, you seem a lot closer than I am. <laughs> But that was kind of just a, you know, if I had to put a number on it, that's what number I'd like to be at, you know. Um, I'd like to probably have, you know, if, if I could do, you know, if I could quantify it, right, if we're putting numbers on everything. Um, now, I love doing that because that helps me understand, like, where I'm at in my goals. So I think it's a great way to gauge your success. Um, but one thing is if I could have, you know, an average of 10 to 15 viewers, um, 500 followers, and um, maybe like anywhere from 25 to 50 subs at any given time, that'd be great. Well, on my journey to, ah, on my journey to 100 followers, I was holding a lot more subs. You know, like they, they were just super supportive. They were, everybody just wanted to see you grow. So it was really neat. But I was like, wow, that could be a regular thing. That'd be just fantastic. Oh, there was a save point right there. Can you believe it? Just paces away. Kind of tucked away in the corner there. That's okay. But yeah, that'd be great. Also, how many subs do you have on YouTube? Um, I have three channels. Um, one of my channels has 30,000 subscribers. And uh, one of my smaller channels has like maybe 2,000. I don't know, 2,000 or so. I don't really post. I post on like once every four months. So... I don't really post very often there. And then I have a smaller channel that I just created. It was I initially my channel used primarily for streaming because uh, I started a streaming channel on YouTube. And that one has like 600 subscribers. But now it's just for VODs and guides. So I don't know. So all, all in all, it's like 30,000 plus 2,000 plus a few hundred. So I don't know. Say 33,000 maybe. This guy is no fun. Okay. He doesn't seem to... Yeah, there he goes. I was say, he doesn't seem to have his horns break, but I stand corrected. He does. I'm going to go ahead and use a fire amulet really quickly, and then I'm going to read what you're saying. Sorry, I'm just, this is not an easy game. <laughs> oh, gosh, I'm dead. See? Uh, same. I would like 1K for a creator code, but that's a stretch for the end of the year. 30k well yeah man thanks I've been at it for six years though so most people have given up by then but I do not give up I never give up I've, gr I've grown so slowly over six years but I've learned so much and I feel like it's gonna pay off you know all the thing I saw I'm self-taught so all of the editing all the everything is all me and so all the things that I've learned I think are gonna pay off in the end whenever it does blow up because I already know how to manage it, you know, so I think it's going to be fine. It's slow growth, but um, it, it, it is what it is, you know. You can't gauge yourself on how other people go viral or anything else like that. You have to focus on your success and you can possibly learn from others, but um, you just can't get distracted by that. But it's been six years for me to grow to that size, so well beyond my or well behind my own expectations but it's definitely better than nothing I'm gonna stab this guy in the back can I defeat you this time sir you're quite powerful I'm gonna go ahead and do this break up your barrier and see if I can destroy you fair and square whenever they're out of key they just can, they have no poise so that's fantastic TTV Trudge. Also, do you want to join my Discord server? It's quite new, but I would like to try to grow my community. Also, you can meet new streamers. Absolutely. Um, I don't think you can send me your... You can't send a link, I don't believe. But if you whisper it to me, I would be more than happy to take a look at it for sure. He was all the way tucked in here. Yeah, I'd like to do that for sure. That'd be great. I have one too as well, so if you're interested. Uh, mine's very new as well, and... I'm trying to get it to where it does grow and it's more active, so the more the merrier. You just exclamation point discord and uh, you have access to that as well. This is still impenetrable, so can't do much here. 
That seems like an enemy. It probably was an enemy. <laughs> a frost butterfly, what an unusually elegant twist. Hmm. Maybe those were the creatures that were creating those barriers? Because if the one over to my right has been dis dispelled... It is. Okay, let's go back to the very beginning, though. Because the one in the beginning was the first one that piqued my interest. If I can remember exactly where it's... I think it's just right in front of the first save point, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, oh gosh. No, don't kill me. Y'all stay away. Go away. And then I'm sure we're going to circle back around to this area. What's your Discord username? Oh man, I don't even know. If you just put in exclamation point Discord, you can, you'll be sent to mine and you can find all that stuff there. I'm telling you, I'm not the most savvy Discord user, that's for sure. Where is the ice? Okay, there it is. Let's take these guys out really quickly. I don't want to get shot by the archer off in the distance. They do have crazy aggro range, so we got to be very careful. Lovely. Ran out of stamina. Yeah, man, thank you. I just can't. I don't remember for the life of me. I think it's just, like, the inhuman one, but I'm sure there's certain characters that I have to use, like, under, maybe underscores or something like that. Let's see. Let's see if we can break through this barrier. I can't. Okay, so there must be some frost butterflies nearby in this area. Well, that would have been nice to know. Kind of wasted my time. Had to backtrack for nothing. I almost died, too. I interrupted his attack before he got me, which is great. It's not a link. Hmm. That's interesting. I just changed it today to be uh, a permanent link. That's odd. Bear with me one second. Huh, that's weird. It works for me. Let's do this instead. So my username is... I'll type it. It's the underscore inhuman one. Username the underscore and human one like that. Of course, what time? What time do you stream? I stream right now in the summer. I stream at little different times, but let me get this. When I clicked on the link, it sent me straight to my page, which is odd. Let me go ahead and do it this way instead. One second. What time do you normally stream? Sweet. There, try that one. That should work fine. I got it straight from the Discord uh, server. But yeah, uh, thanks for whispering that to me. Just let me know what time you stream, and I'm always down to support, man. A lot of my friends, like the one I was talking about earlier, they uh, they also oh god, they also stream shooters. So I'm like very really used to seeing a bunch of Fortnite and a bunch of Warzone. <laughs> Even though I don't play them, I don't know what the hell is going on. I am active in chat, trying to support, get people hyped up, things like that. It's always fun. I'm going to actually click on this so I can reset the enemies. And I'm going to level up. So body... Oh, it does. Okay. I didn't I didn't read it, meet a soft cap then. I'm still fine. We're going to crank that up to maybe 45 then. I want to have the max stats. And body anyways. Body does help my spear have, deal more damage. So I want to use that as much as possible. Sadly, this genius over here is going to come back. And that's fine. There you go. Now I can face off with him. My friend. He almost killed me. Alright, he's still stunned. This is great. He has no opportunity to regain his key just yet. And okay, so I wasn't sure he's dead. Usually, 
he gets dismembered in some way, shape, or form. TTV Trudge says, I normally stream at the afternoon UK time during weekends, so like 1 p.m. BST and occasionally during the week at 5 p.m. BST. Okay, sweet. Don't do it. Okay. Oh, gosh. Go ahead and let my stamina or key regenerate. So the weekends is usually your time, huh? 1 p.m. or occasionally during the week at 5 p.m. Okay. What I'll do after this is I'll, uh, I'll be sure to follow you. That way I can get the notifications when you go live. The weekends is perfect because on the weekends I don't stream. Yeah, I think so for sure. For sure. I, uh, I don't stream on the weekends, so that's perfect. It gives me a, a free slot to just focus on helping support and all that stuff. I try and take as much time off on the weekends as possible just to make it, because streaming all week and creating content all week is, and managing three different channels is a lot of stuff. So it's really nice to be able to take as much time off on the weekends as I can, and that's usually when the other guys don't stream during the weekend, so it's kind of slow, so I, that'd be cool to have somebody I can help watch, grow, and support. This guy has no poise broken up. Thanks so much for following, buddy. TTV Trudge. I will uh, be sure to follow you soon after so I can get the notifications and check you out, man. Check your channel out, see what you can do. Help support you grow. Let's see how. I'm not quite sure. Oh, this is the other side of the door. Okay, perfect. So this should lead me to the beginning area if I go straight into the left, right? Yep. All right. So I figured that that was going to happen. We've seen the level design do that quite a few times already. Thank you so much. I appreciate that, TTV Trudge. Oh gosh. I'm going to heal. Trying to aim for the horns, but when he's strafing like that, believe it or not, it's a lot harder to hit him. We're in high stance, so we have a lot less damage, and I'm surprised I didn't die there. I'm going to hit him in hopes to kill him, and we finished him off, but barely. I'm going to use two elixirs, which is ill-advised, but it's fine. It's all good. Let me know when you join my server. Okay, yeah, for sure. I will. I'll probably be doing... I'll, I'll end up doing the, uh, the follow and joining your server after this stream, for sure. Let's see. So we could go this way, or we could face up with that demon. What? Oh, gosh. That's probably a boss, so... Uh, I don't want to mess with her just yet. Let's go explore and see what's over here. Let's see which kind of demon we're going to be facing off with. Oh gosh, little baby boy. No, 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 I'm dead. Oh, that was scary. Locked onto the wrong guy. You gotta love that. There's two of them. Lovely. Oh my goodness gracious. Dead. I saw that rock coming a mile away. Yeah, man. I appreciate it. Thanks, thanks again for that. Do you have any plans to stream this week? Or are you going to wait until the weekend? I think I should go this way. Mm, I don't think this is the correct path. Yeah, I guess it is. Okay. I don't know how far these guys can chase me, so... He's all the way over there. We're fine.
Got to go now. See you later. Alright, man. Take care. Thanks for stopping by. I look forward to seeing you soon. Alright, perfect. Good stuff. Alright, this is where I got ambushed. Now, where's that second ogre at? Alright, that was probably a bad idea because I kind of trapped myself, but it's fine. Now I understand where the second ogre came from. Second Cyclops, more so. Only two hits there. Can deal with that. Three punches to the face. Oh, gosh. I am going to use two heals. Oh my gosh, that one punch did tons of damage. Gotta get back there again. Alright, I'm gonna run past these geniuses. I was curious. I was dumb, but I was also just curious. I was like, what was back over here? Nothing. Alright, my bad. My bad. Calm down. We'll wait for them to stop chasing us. We'll take this guy out. That was really close. Finally, okay. This guy has been taken out. Uh, and then we have this genius behind us. I'm gonna make a really sharp turn. Very good. We gotta be careful here. I'm gonna stay in high stance. Oh, come on. 1500 damage just for the punch. That thing is incredibly powerful. Mm mm mm. Let's try that again, shall we? Alright, let's see. For some reason, I can't dispel that barrier. Oh gosh, that was painful. Oh my god. Okay. I'm 
Barely. Okay. I am gonna heal. Took tons of damage there unnecessarily. This should hurt him pretty badly. Keeps doing the same attack, which is great for us, but I couldn't get any uh, hits in there, sadly. My stamina regen's pretty bad right now, too. So far we're alive, which is better than we've done so far, and should be dead here. Oh, he's not. Die. That was way too close. We got a Gyakaku Jumanji Spear. Gyakaku Jumanji Spear. That should be hopefully much better than what I have. Guard armor, some Ochikos, and we found a little Kodama as well. Uh, let's see here. This does fire damage, so I'm actually going to keep that. This doesn't seem to do any additional types of damage, but this right here does 409 damage. Uh, it's got an enemy damage bonus, A minus. Hmm. I like that. Let's do this. Gaiko Spear and then... I want my other spear that I had that had a really good amount of... damage. This one's decent, right? But I do want my one with the fire damage. Right here. There you go. So they look vastly different. No, they don't. They look quite the same. One's kind of like red and golden or copperish, and this one's just like, has a silver blade. Okay. Fair enough. Alright, I'm content. I did not mean to do that. Okay. We got two elixirs as well. Not bad. Alright, now let's go face up with this pretty thing. Fairly certain this is not going to be fun. Oh gosh, get down here. Okay, she's been defeated. That wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. There's another little Kodama hiding off in the distance, and something's behind me. Okay. Or in front of me. Alright, that was bad. I was distracted. Let's go save this little Kodama. Oh, he's all good now. This is the way on top of the roofs. We'll go ahead and see what's down here before we take to the rooftops.
All right. Let's grab the rest of these items here. We got some arrows. More Horikodamas. Just a random assortment of goodies. We'll go this way and go up this ladder and see what other uh, items we can grab as well. Let's see. There's another frost butterfly set right down there. I think we gotta tread really softly here. just happened there. I have no clue what I did, but it definitely broke his ice, it looks like. Which I didn't even think was possible. But it definitely worked. Waiting for an ambush here. I guess he was the ambush. I'm thinking this is like an area that would normally be inaccessible, so I'm going to go through here instead. Maybe this will take me to that, yeah, this item here that I have always been curious about. And the butterflies are right over there. How cool is that? We get the Tokiwa hand cannon, which is probably going to be a, an upgrade. Excellent. He saw me from down there. What a jerk. Alright. Let's break through this. We got a bunch of spirit stones for that. I really like the level design. It's uh, very simple, but also... It makes it seem kind of uh, like maze-like and labyrinthian. I truly do like the, the level design, though. It's a lot of fun. Another demon. Look at that. Oh, these are the ones that I, I always say are easy, but they always kill me. That was so close. I'm dead. Oh my gosh. I could have died there. No, oh, what would I do? Okay. That was rough. He gave me an elixir, which was very, very thoughtful. Let me see here. Bear with me one moment. Bloop. All right. So we explored this area here. We got those items very nice. I say we continue our exploration and hopefully I, I can only imagine that we're going to face off with one of those ice wraith chicks probably going to be really tough. I see an archer off in the distance. Let's go ahead and take him out. That was not very nice. The infantry guys seem to have much more health than the archers, which, you know, generally makes sense in video games, but man, they have a lot more health. Let's go ahead and see what this item is. Uh, Tanegashima Matchlock. I have zero heals left, and it looks like we have a nice 
Oni right in front of us, or Yokai. Oh, lovely. Okay. Let's tread softly. It looks like it's just one that we have to face off with, so that's not too bad. This is probably a Kodama back here. Nope, but I am certainly trapped. Oh my goodness. Taking this guy out either way. Nice. Would have loved to have saved that. Does this door open? Yes, it does. Very nice. Now, which path? Oh, this is the shortcut. Very cool. Now, this one, obviously, I don't think we can open just yet. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. We did take out the butterflies, which I'm assuming are tied to this crystal formation right in here. I don't have any other uh, spirit energy, sadly, but that's okay. This is my very worst demon to face off with as well. I'm actually really bad at fighting these. Yeah, seven hits. And unfortunately, I wasn't high stance, so I did not have enough stamina. Mm -mm -mm. Let's retry. Okay, so from here... Where the heck am I? I think I'd go this way. This doesn't seem right. Seems like I'm going the long, long way. Yeah, this is not the best path. Going through all these enemies here. gonna die. Let's see. That was a terrible path to go. That was the shortcut that I should have been taking to get back to this area that I kept dying in. And so I kept going the longer route. So where the heck do I go now? I think it should be up and to the left. Yep, okay. So where's my save point back here? This is probably better. This is the starting save point, isn't it? There it is. Okay, great. I want to save close to where I'm going to keep respawning, because otherwise, my walk of shame just gets unbearable. That was rough. Almost died there, but we traded just in time. I did get a spear as well. It doesn't look like it's going to be as powerful. 
But let me check it out. Yeah, it's not as po powerful at all. This purple one is, I think, a, an epic class weapon, so... Much better. Really don't feel like spawning this bozo. No, oh, no. I think I'm just gonna walk past that guy. I got something. I wanted to grab the items. Oh, what? <laughs> I think I was because I was mid dodge animation or something. That's what happened, but whatever. Not a big deal. I thought that was really strange looking. Get the stuff. Okay, good. Rifle ammunition. And I don't have to worry about my spirit guardian anymore, which is fine. Or the guardian spirit. Now I can just go past knowing that I've grabbed all the items. I was just hoping that it wasn't going to be some sort of crazy spear or anything. Now we did also learn something from those deaths though. We learned that even if you... Uh, interact with an item that you can pick up and you die before you're able to do that you don't lose the item really cool that's very forgiving this guy's moving really odd it's like he's not fully loaded in yet or something lovely This girl. Oh my goodness, okay. Those enemies are pretty tough. Uh, it's all of, That one's all about dodging though. <laughs> they don't have the most damage resistance, but gosh. They got some pretty cool moves. I feel like there might be an enemy behind me as well. Let's see. Nope. And which door would this be? It's another random door, it seems. So many passageways here just because I broke through that screen. Even another passageway back there. Let's see where all these take us. We have our second shortcut now. Another demon chick. And another passageway. A hot spring. Looks like we're all rested up now. I 
Alright, so we have that enemy up ahead. And then we also have the other pathways we need to explore as well. Which were well beyond any of these springs, so... That over there is where the uh, the combo was. We had the demon and the archer that kept killing us. Just seemed obvious to me that something was hiding behind there. <laughs> uh, it's another little demon. Let me see if I can get his attention though. That guy's attention too well. Something was regenerating my health, I'm not sure what. There you go. That's one down. Now, he did have a little friend on the other side. I'm going to actually equip my fire talisman and take him out with a low stance. Barely got him there before his transformation. That was really close, actually. Let's see what's over here really quickly. If you noticed, that Revenant had a purple class spear. Definitely something I would like to have and add to my arsenal. There you go. Just keeps going, doesn't it? This is a massive level, actually. We'll go ahead and save here, and then I'm going to go back and face off with those little demons. I hope that that didn't reset the enemies. I have a feeling it did. Um, but that's okay, even if it did. One and two. All right. Dodge those two strikes. Just come in and finish them off. Make it easy. Oh god. This guy. Need to get out of this defilement so I can get my energy back. I guess we can use this as a good vantage point. Maybe I can take out the Cyclops from here, but I don't know if that's what it's intended for. Very nice. Not sure how I'm supposed to get back up. <laughs> Can I break through? Oh, here you go. Nice, okay. I'm not done with this area yet though, so I will come back in just a moment. First things first, I need to 
defeat those Cyclops and then defeat the Revenant so I can get the Legendary class item. If I can bait him in here, we should be okay. He didn't do three strikes, I'm surprised. I almost ran right into that. Have to use this, unfortunately. Total waste. And I died anyways. That sucked. Alright. Let's see. We can break through there. We're not going to do that. We need to defeat this guy and then defeat the Cyclops again. Both of them. Low stance is just so good. I, I do like it just for the maneuverability alone. Even if the fight takes longer, I prefer it. There you go. This time we position ourselves in just a way where we wouldn't have to uh, get our strikes deflected. Let's see if it's the same. Yep. So we're still fighting Mori Rikimaru. Uh, sweet. He's going to be a master at spear combat. Heal. Okay, very nice. Nice dodge. Almost... I was gonna say, it cost me my life. Wow. What a great, great battle, too. <laughs> Dang it. That was actually really strategic. We'll go back there in a moment. Sadly, I have to do all that over again. That's fine. Sprinting takes up so much stamina. Alright, here we go. Dodge that boulder. Dodge this boulder. Two punches to the face and die. Dang, I really want that spear though, so I'm gonna keep farming for it. Unfortunately, uh, I keep dying.
looks awesome. The Raging Bull. Nice. Lovely. Even without key, he was still able to do a lot of damage and uh, still got the better of me. Oh, what a mess. This actually is pretty frustrating because it's just three enemies I have to face off with, but the Cyclops are so strong, they kill you in two hits. And I have, um, I think, 40, 42 body, which is the equivalent to vitality or vigor. I'm not sure why my low stance is taking so much stamina. That's why. <laughs> I see what I did. I'm over encumbered. Well, that could explain why I'm having such a heck of a time fighting. Here he goes. I was wondering what the heck was going on with my stamina regen, and I was like in low stance, so it makes perfect sense now. You missed. A splash hit me, that's great. Alright, here goes. Decent fight so far. Just going for the kill there, because I'm tired of fighting the same enemy. I'll wait for uh, my stamina or key to replenish, so then I can go ahead and hit this enemy right here. Gotta be very careful on the angles, otherwise we'll hit the sides. Very tricky attacks. Nice. The demon spearman is damn near undefeatable.
Alright, he's dead. We're getting better at killing him, finally. We did get an elixir for our troubles. We'll go ahead and take out this genius next. There you go. I want to find him in here because I feel like it's just a little bit more even ground for us to play in. And I won't aggro the ogre on accident. So maybe he was just equipped with a purple spear and that's not what I actually was going to get. I just realized that too, another thing we learned. Hmm. That sucks. I would have loved to have actually gotten the spear he was using, but that's okay. Now we know. Alright, let's go back over here. Plenty of these fools to continue to face off with. Shoulder back, trying to yep, line it up just for that attack right there. Go for the spear. We're gonna go low stance, and then he regenerated. That's fine. Lovely. All right, not a bad display there. Now what exactly is this? That's just the other side. Okay, well, fair enough. There's more than one way to get up there, I suppose. And then we have this. That seems like a path, but maybe it's not. No, I guess it's not. So I wonder what the purpose of that little shortcut was. Alright, probably another demon lady over there. I think there might be two. Lovely. I am gonna go ahead and heal here. And we'll see what's inside. This is my shortcut. Now, if I recall correctly, there's a female over here. Yep, one of those female warriors. Okay, so there's two paths we need to check. The one with all the demons and the one with the female warrior. Alright. Good enough for me. That's just a little too heavy for me. Raging bulls with damage reduction, evasion key usage. That seems really good, actually. I'm gonna do that. I 
The fan's pretty cool, but I realized we weren't really fighting human enemies, so. Alright, if I get in a pinch, I have what I need. He gets out of range, and that is very scary. I wonder if healing, while I have my... Yep, it works. While I have my living weapon equipped, it still works. Very slow fireball, but I'm not going to underestimate that. Back away. There we go. I'm burning! fire damage over time. I got a fire and water charm, some Shingiku medicines, things like that. Very helpful items. Fire amulets, which would be great in this area. Cool. Water charm. Alright, so this is where the demon chick was, and now we can go and search and see if there's anything else. I don't think there are going to be any other ambushes, but could be wrong. Can I open this door up? I have no clue which passageway this is supposed to lead to, but it's fine. Foreigner's armor. I think this is where all the little demons were, right? Yep. This is the other spot. Now we need to find the butterflies next, right? No trap. No crazy ambush. This has to be the boss. looking for a save point because normally the walks of shame are really short in this game. That's certainly the boss. I don't know where the nearest uh, prayer shrine or shrine is, so that's kind of sucky. That's okay though. We knew it was gonna be one of these ice rays. It looks great. Nice. <laughs> it's been boring. Now that looks like a nice little blade. Lovely. I was trying to actually get in a distance so I could parry her. She seems, you know, human sized, so I feel like she can be parried. Maybe this is the shortcut that I gain. Let me see. Yeah, that's not a bad path. I mean, this demon's probably going to be a jerk. Yeah. Oh, it's one of these. I can fight these.
Lovely, this stupid thing got in the way. Very nice, alright, so now he's out of the way too. And we did pick up another spear from him as well. Let's see if that's any better than what we currently have in our possession. No, but no. It's not better at all. So this, oops, that's not what I meant to do. But the spear that I had equipped does quite a bit of fire damage. I died in seconds. The heck? Well, I am glad that we unlocked the shortcut. Now I know that it's a straight path to the boss. What I was trying to do is I keep pressing left and right to change my weapons, but I need to actually hold R1 and then left and right. I believe the one I have currently equipped. Fire damage plus 42%. Yeah, we're going to burn this lady. We should make a quick right and have a straight path to the boss. I like that they have shortcuts available to you in the event that you do die when you're trying to face off with a boss. I can't even really tell what damage I'm doing because she hits me with that same attack. Uh, I guess I'm not going to run up on her then, um, which means I won't probably use my fire talisman either before entering the door. I figured she just attacks really quickly so I was trying to get the drop on her, but maybe that's not the best technique. It's happened multiple times already in a row, so I don't think that's the secret. The secret sauce to beating her. What a tough boss. You know, I am going to equip it because it's free. And also, maybe if I can dodge that initial attack, as long as I'm not then equipping my fire talisman or amulet at that time, I should be able to deal some damage. So, we're going to stay in low stance. I did four strikes when she threw her spear. She's got a ton of attacks, that I, none of which I'm familiar with just yet. The three ice spears kind of just go out and they follow you. She has one that's maybe about five to six ice spears that just go out in, immediate, in her immediate vicinity. And then, man, she's just kind of stacked with attacks. Open. I don't get it. Every boss 
actually every enemy in this game can beat you in two hits and I have 42 body which is probably the best attribute that can increase your health directly so it's just very strange to me how that works Very strange. Nice. High stance is not the way to go. When you have no stamina, even your stamina regen seems to be impacted by your stance, so. We'll give it a few more time, uh, more attempts. I want to at least learn her moveset, so instead I'm going to back off a bit. Chicken! Finally here! Hate living on a farm. <laughs> no worries, man. Take your time. You're not missing much. I'm just... Well, you missed the entire level, which was... Hey, it's pretty cool, but... It's the boss, man. I, she's just relentless. Alright. Attack. That's AoE. Okay. Move. I see a lot of projectiles, so maybe that could be her weakness. I mean, that hurt, but not, not good enough. Thousand damage. Um, but I, I don't know if maybe if I hit her in the face, that could maybe stagger her or what. That was rough. Oh, gosh. That was rough. All right, let's try this again. We have a shortcut to the boss, so walk of shame is minimal. You'd imagine fire would be the best because she is literally made out of ice. So that's what I'm anticipating here. But she is kind of a jerk. She's got all kinds of moves. Probably going to go to mid stance, see if I can parry. I'm just going to run in a circle next time. Okay. That's way better than dodging. Okay. That's all we need to do then in that case. I'm going to go for high stance. Got to equip this bad boy with some fire. Okay, much better. Okay, now we're getting some rhythm. The longest we've survived so far. Yep, there you go. I spoke too soon. Freed from this mortal coil. Mid stance enhances blocking. It lets you read your opponent's movements and find the right time to turn their backs against the turn. Okay. I don't ever use mid stance.
Just practicing here. Genius. Haha. That was awesome. Every single stance has an attack you can like follow up with. So low stance you have that. Mid stance you have th hold on. this. And then high stance we have that. Probably does a ton of damage. Let's use our fire talisman because we know we have infinite amount of them. Well, two per life, but they don't cost any resources to get back. I need to dodge laterally. Maybe I was too close. So if you're further away, running around in a circle seems to dodge the, those uh, homing missiles pretty easily, but got jacked up that time. Yeah, this boss is a pain. Oh man, she's rough. But we should have enough time to beat her. And there we go. Well, those have a little AOE damage to them. The other ones you can walk right through. tried getting in with uh, low stance after that so I could deal some damage since she had no poise, but that did not work. <clears throat> so fire only does like four additional damage. I'm also going to equip some different uh, jutsu or different uh, amulets as well because that doesn't make a ton of sense. You would think we'd be able to deal much more damage. Water didn't seem to work. It wouldn't make any sense, but I can certainly try. And then we'll try wind, which doesn't make any sense either. It seems like it's all kind of maybe something she would even have a resistance against, to be honest. Because they're all those are all kind of like, you know, water obviously is pretty much ice, and then wind. It's kind of like the blizzard. I don't know. It makes me think of that. So she probably has a resistance against that. I could try lightning. I don't even have lightning though. Alright. Wow. She has a complete resistance against that. move away out of stamina she, this is the millennia of Neo except she doesn't heal <laughs> what a jerk oh let me go ahead and reset that so water 
was worthless. Let's try wind, which is probably equally worthless. We're going to go ahead and make some offerings, see if there's anything we can do to get rid of. That's a cool looking rifle. Brute's Axe, very cool. Huh, so this is versus water. I might actually need this, the Foreigner set. Let me switch over to that real quick. Versus water. I think water is essentially going to be the same as the ice. That was plus four water, though. Hmm. That's fine. We'll go with that for now. This is versus water as well. Sixty-seven foreigners armor versus water. Okay. Versus water again. The raging bull set is heavy, heavy, heavy. Hey, I'm in the green though, so my stamina regen is probably going to be a lot better, even if I am taking a slight uh, hit. Now, I'm also going to change this to water right there, yep. And then this right here, what do I have? Medicine case, unlimited ammo, more water defense. We'll go with that for now. Now we're going to try out wind. Wind probably sucks as well. You can only expect that much. I feel faster too. I wonder if that's impacted by, yeah, my agility. Because, man, I feel so much faster. At a B agility, that, that is excellent. Alright, let's go ahead and do this thing, shall we? We have, what, wind equipped now? Let's see how worthless wind is. I feel like wind on ice is, is nothing. Oh god, don't kill him. 28, so okay, no, not much. She definitely has a resistance to it, but she's not completely immune to it. I dodge that two hit combo. It's almost like you can't from high stance. Oh. 
totally dead, but I did gain some familiarity with the the new spear that I have. All right. Wind sucked as well, so I think fire was the best that we've had so far. At least I can ready that one. And then in regards to the ones I have available, maybe we can change up some of the equipment we have here. Like the shurikens, I don't know, they're kind of worthless, but that's okay. Let's see if we have anything else, like uh, some fire bombs or something. I want that. That looks cool. Let's try this. I have my fire amulets re-equipped. We have uh, fire talismans, fire amulets, and then we have moment talismans. I'm assuming it says a guardian spirit will attack for a period of time. Oh gosh, I almost went the wrong way. So we'll check that out, see how good it is. Here it goes. What does this do? Hey, what the heck? I don't understand what the heck my uh, moment talisman does. Tons of damage. I like that. Now she has five of them. And she's getting some different attacks. Now she's in phase two for sure. We need to survive as long as possible so we can hopefully find an opening and a weakness. There's a little bit of a delay. What does this do? Nothing really. Oh gosh. I to scratch my nose. Go ahead and equip the fire talisman. Waiting for that sword attack, but it looks like she's not going to do it again. This one was a little weird to dodge. That's kind of random almost. That is a grab attack. Okay. Five of them. Oh, man. <laughs> That was a nice, nice finish though, but oh, she, I didn't realize that she kind of actually can lock on. She can actually lock on with that grab attack, with that lunge. So that moment talisman thing's pretty worthless. We 
going to try the Horikodamas instead. Maybe that will work just a bit better. High stance, of course, was fantastic, especially with that new technique that um, I've been using. Not one that I just learned, but one that I just started using. And it's actually really decent, especially if she doesn't have a lot of uh, key. So that's really good. If we can get her key down, she's going to be pretty easy to move around. Actually destroy that was nice. That's all right. My fault for a poorly timed dodge there. Alright, so far not terribly bad, but not the best either. Yeah, but I'm saying I might be dead here, and that's exactly what happened. I lost some stamina, and as it was regenerating, she was doing a very powerful attack, her little shotgun ice. Very reminiscent of Renala, actually. Um She's not too too bad. She does cast a lot of pyroman uh, a lot of cryomancy or whatever, but it's, she's not so bad. I should be able to take her out pretty quickly. I'm just finally getting used to her move set. He's returned. Chicken Waggler. I think you came in at a decent time. I'm finally starting to learn the move set of the boss and so I think you're going to, you know, You'll be able to witness that at the very least. Decent gameplay. Oh gosh, I, I spoke too soon. See, those two hit combos there are ridiculous. And then because I was stunned, uh, I was just dead in instance. It's 12 and I just got home. <laughs> gosh. That's ridiculous. Eight hour difference. It was it a busy day, or did you just live? You just live far from where you work, or what? Yuki Ona, who Yuki Ona, cool. Yeah, she's been destroying me. Like the first few times, I died within seconds, and then I finally started learning her pattern. Uh, figured out her weakness is fire, but it's not a huge weakness actually. It doesn't really help that much, but. It's better than nothing. She's a lot of fun to fight, though, now that I actually can fight her. Those first few matches and attempts were just terrible. No, thanks. Six AM to work, home by 10 a.m. orientation, farm work, 12 until now. <laughs> yeah, that's ridiculous. What kind of animals do you have? See that two hit combo, I can't actually dodge more than one. I was raised on the ranch too, and I we had horses, and uh, we had cows for a period of time, and no oh gosh, chickens, goats, all that good stuff. We mostly experimented with those, but my dad had horses, so it was more of a ranch than a farm. That has some homing qualities on it too, that kind of sucks. Oh, I'm gonna take some AoE damage here.
Uh, that was a great combo, but unfortunately, uh, I did it a little bit too late. She was actually getting her key regeneration back, and when she stomps, she creates that ice uh, around her, which actually hurts me, and I have zero health. Oh, we don't have animals. We have grains and bale. Okay, nice. Very nice. I definitely remember loading up bales of hay in the truck, like, all the time. That was always, uh... That was always fun. You go into those big sheds, or those big barns that are just full of hay, and then you'd have to load up like 20 bales. You know, that was always cool too. The good old days when life was simple. Bales and grain, so that's pretty cool. Oh my gosh, I almost died in one hit. I'm not going to heal. Ten hectares of bale. I'm not sure what unit of measurement that is. Probably one that makes sense. You know, I'm American. We use the, the system that doesn't make sense. <laughs> I've heard that number, that unit before. Ten hectares of bale today. I have no clue how much that is, but that sounds like a good amount. These weigh from 150 to 300. Oh gosh! See that we had bales. Um, so you had small bales, right? And then uh, once we got, we kind of moved away to into alpha, alpha. and uh, those bales were not only were they more expensive, but they're a lot larger too. And those would range from 50 pound bales to 100 pound bales, and those were rough. We never got the round bales much. You know those giant like circular ones. Uh, that look like big barrels like laying on their sides we never got the round bales because that's better for cattle but since we had horses we would get the I guess you call them square bales even though they're like rectangular but those are the bales of hay that we would get we had the standard hay and then we switched to alfalfa alpha for the big for the longest time and those were much heavier Oh, nice. Okay, one hectare is 2.47 acres. Nice. Okay, that's a lot then. 10 hectare. Hectare. I don't even know how you say that. Look at that. I got killed in one shot. That's what was happening in the beginning when I first fought her. That's what happens for when I read. One hectare. Hectare. It's like hectare or hectare, right? It's two. Four seven acres. That's crazy. So ten of those, so twenty acres plus of hay. Yep, that's insane. That's a lot of work, but I had no clue you raised on a farm, or you lived on a farm. That's really cool. I heard you say, or I read when you said that when you came in, I was like, huh. I had no clue. Okay, don't hurt me. I missed. Go ahead and equip my fire talisman. Yuki Ona. That was a bad idea. Let me try and bait that because I died. One combo is all it takes. That's one thing I guess, you know, I don't understand if you don't level body how you would ever survive in this game ever, but you get hit twice and you're pretty much dead. And that's been at every point. And I'm at what? I think 50? No, 42 body. So I have no clue. Affects life and resistance to poison. Affects key. I guess I could try more stamina. Yeah, it's insane. But even at 42 body, I can still get killed in about 2 to 3 hits from any enemy. And that's only investing in body. Aside from those first few points I put into skill at the very beginning. Because I figured I was going to use dual Kodachis. Or uh, Tomfa, which I haven't used since. 
I'm getting the hell out of here as fast as I can, honestly. <laughs> it's a lot of work, man. I, I definitely don't miss it, I'll tell you that. But it, it was it was good. Like, the skills and stuff I learned were invaluable, but I definitely agree. It's a lot of work. You're gonna be a city boy. I am gonna go ahead and apply my talisman, dodge this. Yeah, that damage, that additional damage is just not really worth it, in my opinion. I dodged twice and I was still in range, and I died. Oh, Yuki Ona, the ice bitch. I will kill you in due time. Chicken says, like, I come home and I have to do some retarded work that I don't even get paid for, and I can't use this kind of job experience in my future line of work. Yeah, but hey, yeah, I guess the way you think, the way I used to think of it anyways is, well, I don't know if you have to pay rent, but I'd be like, free rent, that's what I was going to say, but I didn't even, I, I didn't even know if you do have to pay rent or not. But it's like, yeah, it's free labor, but hopefully you get to stay there for free. If not, that kind of sucks. It's got to be a little more balanced, if not. Come on, lady. <laughs> no, I didn't mean like. <laughs> I don't mean like on a resume, but I mean I just like in just in general, you know. It's just like it's you learn the values of good hard work, you know. It's like, well, I learned what I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna do that again, because I, I'm gonna make sure I get whatever, and th at least in the states, I'm gonna go to school and make sure I don't have to do that kind of work or whatever, because. Typically, like labor and in other instances, like it's it's like if you don't have a corporate type job or something, you know. So I learned that that is not what I wanted to do. But man, it kept me in shape and stuff too. It was good for that. But yeah, it's it is very thankless, very thankless work. So I, I I agree with that, man. Finally, dodge that two strike attack even in high stance. That's insane. Oh, okay. It's a family farm. Okay. Yeah, you see that? Then that's the only that's the only perk, really. If there is a perk, that would be the only one. I'm just gonna shoot you. You're gonna hit me with that, anyways. Oh, come on! Even the one hit that I did didn't clear out the rest of the stamina or deplete the rest of her stamina in her bar so then I died anyways I'm telling you from now on I'm gonna upgrade I guess what the hell was it stamina but I need something for key to you oh suck I am tired of only doing two strikes and then having no ability to dodge. And my family farm will end with my father. It's a townhouse, so no rent. Huh. So whenever you move out, are you going to be like, is there like a, what's the, well, is there a nearby city or something you'd be uh, renting like a little, I don't know what you call them over there, like a flat or like an apartment. We call them apartments over here. Oh, would you be getting like a house or something when you move out? Yo! Headshot. How'd that do 300 damage? So your head doesn't hurt as much as your arms. That makes no sense. And okay, good. That made no sense at all. That entire encounter made no sense.
Oh my goodness gracious. Melina? Is that you? Melania? Missed. Crazy lady. Bad idea. Back away. I see something about a million dollars, and I'm really looking for. I would not stay here even if it's a million a year, because the work is just so shit. I hate. <laughs> yeah, it's rough. I get it. I definitely get it. I get it. Uh, don't get me. Come on, crazy. Damn you, lady. So cheap. Nice. I did not mean to dodge all those. That just looked awesome. But that definitely was not skill. Oh god. Yep, that was skill. That was a great combo. I have not seen this attack yet. We're gonna get her, hopefully. That was terrifying. At least she doesn't throw her sword, her spear anymore. Yay! Get out of here, crazy lady. GG's. Yeah, I'm trying to move away on my second year of school, maybe first from lucky so I can be at the same city as my school. It's not that it's rough or hard, but the type of work you need to do is just ass. <laughs> That's hilarious. The way you explain things is so funny. <laughs> but yeah, so I get it. Yay, we win! Ooh, cutscene. Yeah, she was annoying. She was super annoying. Oh wow, what a cool looking like outfit. Nice. That was a good fight, but damn. That's the hardest boss that I fought so far. Even more than the spider butt chick and stuff like that. It was a good fight, but she's just a pain in the ass. Lord Nobunaga. The Snake Man. I wonder if that's Edward Kelly. You have to remind me, what's your language again? Your native tongue? Your English is so good. I always, I always forget. I always forget. Possessed by Usarahicho. Finish. That's right. I was gonna say that. I just didn't want to say that, and you'd be like, "Oh, we're like mortal enemies of the Finnish. We're actually the whatever." Because <laughs> that's happened before. <laughs> you know, especially now. I gotta, you gotta be much more careful. I'm, I'm very respectful. I love different languages and stuff too. Trying to learn or finish learning French, and then I can move on to my some of my Asian languages. I want to learn Korean and Japanese. I knew a little bit of Hindi when I worked over in India. 
but my primary languages are English and Spanish. Kelly. Oh, he left for Mount Hiei. Huh. Hiei is the name of one of my favorite characters in my one of my favorite animes. So finish. That's awesome. Are them thighs cold, girl? See, those are the things that fly around. So he's possessed. Seems you have some history with this place. Hmm. Maybe he spoke with him telepathically or something there. I bet the maybe the woman next to him is the demon and she's pretty much keeping him in control. Maybe. That's why he wasn't able to speak freely. <laughs> Studied French for two years and I remember Jack. I should really learn it again in Spanish too. And after that, I would like to learn Mandarin, Japanese, and Russian. Yeah, so Russian is a language that sounds really nice. I like the way it sounds. Better than, I like the way it sounds more so than German. So like, since I'm a Mexican, but I was born in America, so it's called Mexican-American here, because there's really no like true American really, except if you're like Native American. Um, so I'm Mexican-American. So I know English and Spanish. But then in school, I took a bunch of Spanish just to just because it was easy, and then I learned French once I maxed out the Spanish courses you could take. So I was like, well, let me learn more Latin-based languages. So like French was gonna be the next one, and then some of the sounds that you make in certain languages, like in Japanese, a lot of those sounds are very similar sounds that we use in our language. So that was something that I was like, okay, Japanese would be awesome. Plus, I just love the culture and stuff. And then uh, Russian always sounds really nice as well. The hardest part for me in French was like how in Spanish you roll your R's. Well, they kind of use like the, the R's like it's kind of like a guttural like it's in the back of your throat kind of R versus like a tongue rolling R like in Spanish. So it's a little different. My French teacher, my, my French teacher was great. My French teacher was French and you never have that. Like usually you have like, oh, my Spanish teacher is Irish or something. You know, So it's like it makes no sense. Uh, let's see. Hattori Hanzo says, Falling snow, mission complete. I've never been so glad to see sunlight. Kyoto should soon thaw out from its frost now, thanks to you. I still find it hard to believe that the Yuki Ono is actually Lady No, Lord Nobunaga's wife. Never a dull moment with you around, is there? Master Tenkai is a close friend of Lord Iyasu. We should take his advice and head for Mount Hie. Yeah, it is. If you learn Spanish, that's that's a great gateway language for like any other Latin-based language, like Span. Uh, obviously, does French, and a lot of the other ones that are kind of have that Latin base to them, because all the rules are the same. Oh, nice. See, my my French teacher said I, I, I sounded good, but my, he said my R's were the only thing I could work on, and I'm like, because I could at the at that time I could write quite a decent amount. I can still read a decent amount, but um, man, that's a, I, I need to finish that one for sure. I'd have to start from scratch though, to be honest. Alright, let's see. Let's at least explore this other level for a bit before I end the stream. It's been a busy week. I've had to write a, a bunch of scripts and put a lot of videos, lore videos together in a very short period of time. So I've been like cramming like videos every day of the week and it is... It's a lot. So I gotta give myself some time to finish another video for today that I can post tomorrow. And then get ready for Friday's video and Saturday's video. So it's like, good gosh. It's been a busy week. We got the Kinky region. Nice. Tenkai says, Mount Hiei lies to the northeast of Kyoto. For many years it has served as a barrier to keep friends, or oh, fiends, and curses out of the capital. Now this magical barrier is on the verge of collapse thanks to the spikes Kelly has been planting spikes. We must make our way there at once. <laughs> That's about all my French amounts. <laughs> Russian has some pretty cool sounds. Like they're very similar. Like the they're not like as harsh sounding to me, anyways, as like the German type language. So that would be a fun one to learn too, I think. But I think more realistically i'm probably not gonna finish french because i don't have a use for it 
but Korean and Japanese, there could be a need for that, especially if we vacation. My wife actually lived in Korea for a period of time, so that could, that's always something that I've had in the back of my mind. Mount Hiei was once a place of worship and a powerful military base. In 1571, Oda Nobunaga had it burned to the ground, followed by the beheading of every surviving man, woman, and child. Oh my gosh. I guess that's why they think of him as an oni and a human. That is terrible. But it's very thorough. Gotta give him that. Very thorough indeed. I don't even think I can level up. I can. I can level up once. Alright, so... I keep wanting to level up by... I was going to go to 45 with it, but I am about fed up with my lack of key. So, let's see if we can boost up the key a bit. Heart is key. That's about it. Okay, so it's really going to be heart or stamina. I need... No. Here, I'm going to go outside, actually. Go back to stats and just confirm which one it is. Affects key. All right, good. Affects life and how much you can carry. Hmm. Let's see how much we get life bonus-wise. But, again, I don't really plan a build on getting hit, you know, so. Because eventually you're going to get killed anyway, so let's see. Yeah, I don't really care much about the life bonus I'm getting there. Let's just definitely bump up key to a heart. I'm sorry, to like 10. And then we'll do body to 45. I wish I could respec. Don't see a way to do that. I'm going to go through my items really quickly and see if there is a way to respec. That'd be pretty sweet. And it's a really spoken way. And it's a really sp Oh, okay, nice. So it is a con- Okay. Very interesting. And it makes sense, too. Alright, then we're gonna go to- What was I gonna go to? My- Whoa, I have a bunch of samurai skill points, so I should probably look at that first. I, I, I got in a squirrel moment here. Sweeps an enemy's legs, slashes while stepping back. Actually, not a lot of different things unlocked there. It's whatever, though. Alright. And then the other thing was... Seeing if we have a means to... Respec. I would not be surprised if it actually were to invade, considering... Yeah, well, man, I hope not, because it just seems like a real bad situation. There's always something crazy like that going on. Large Spirit Stone. I'm going to use all of those, actually. I didn't realize I had so many. Uh, Alright, let's see if we can respec. Alright, so... More enemies you defeat. Sticky liquid. Not news in that. Attracts yokai. Imbues your weapon. Secret medicine. Neutralizes blah blah blah. Temporarily prevents blah blah blah. Allows you to quit a mission. Okay. This is a sacred brush. 30%. So there's like there's items that seem to repair before you go to a shrine. You can just use them to get 30% of your... On Mio back or ninjutsu back. Earth amulet, heal to mask. Uh, let's see, nope. That was worthless. The moment talismans were absolutely worthless. A magic pot contain. Okay, that's like a weapon, it seems. A tool for sharpening blades. Oh, increases. Okay, familiarity. Nope. Neutralizes poison. No, no, no. Key recovery. Salt. Hey, there you go. That's what salt's for. It causes a large amount of key damage to nearby yokai. Hey, there you go. We could try that. Simple rock, bladed weapon, harakiri sword, kimurogi fragment. I, I don't know. That's, that doesn't seem like you can. That's kind of sucky. 
Might as well level up again, though. Oh, we did kick their ass once. We'll do it again if need be. <laughs> nice. I have nothing but faith in that statement. Uh, heart. That's right. I saw skill was bumped up, so that threw me off for a bit. Man, I did waste a bunch in skill, but I think I actually started off with like 9 or 10 skill points because of all the things I had selected initially. My whole entire build and all of my creatures were all based off of that. Maybe I can change my guardian spirit and that would increase my uh, body instead. I don't think so. It doesn't seem to be much better at all, if at all. Amrita percentage is probably the best. Okay, well that kind of sucks. We'll stick with what we have then. Yeah, when I started this entire build, it was all based around skill. So I got like four to five bonus skill points. And even my uh, living guardian was based around skill. So it kind of sucks that we're not using any of that, but it is what it is. Let's go left first. My feet are safe. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, there's more and more. Okay, there's that. Is it like an Amrita crystal? No Kodama there. That's deceptive. Oh gosh. I dodged and I still got hit. These guys are just uh, getting stronger and stronger. They have so much health at this point in the game. We probably won't end up exploring the entirety of this level. We'll probably got another like 15, 20 minutes or so. So I gotta get to work on those other videos. I just need to take a break too. It's like I'm tired today. Some days I'm just lazy, and this is not one of them. I don't have any energy today, like, at all. Crawling? Oh. Crawling with monsters. Who's here? So we could go down there. That'd be fun. Or, we can go fight this big demon. This is probably, yeah. Okay, we'll go ahead and beat him first. Ready? There it is. We're going all out today. This guy has so much health. Dodge the boulder. I wonder if he's buffed because, I mean, this dude is just going for it. You have so much health. You are 100% allowed to be lazy. Yeah, because you know how to use twin blades. I know. That was the dumb. I thought it would be excellent, but it was a really bad decision, to be honest. And they did no damage whatsoever. That was a real waste, man. I, I thought it was going to be cool, too. And I haven't even really used the Tonfa other than fighting that one boss in the pirate ship. They had the the big balls. That was the extent of my tongue usage. Cut his leg off. Love that. That is always good. Boom. Give me some. How strong is this thing? Okay. Can't relent. Oh my gosh. Oh, I've never seen human enemies before. Not the ones that aren't zombified. The hell? Why are you guys so noisy?
He has melee too, lovely. They use lightning weapons, which is pretty sweet. And they spam like freaking crazy. The talisman's on their face, that's a great touch. The cat said something about the crystal behind him, but your ass can't apparently... Oh, I definitely couldn't. I can't read and fight a Cyclops at the same time, I've, I've, I've discovered. The cat was wondering if the big crystals buffed the yokai. Well, I'll be damned. The cat was right. So we need to destroy those crystals at any chance, man. Get some. We got this up here. This is probably locked. I guarantee you. There's got to be a locked passageway. These enemies look great. And they're all... You know what? If Oh, we don't have it. I was going to say, if we have Earth Talisman, we need that. This looks great. I'm about to die. Admiring the beauty of this creature. Alright. Things are not that easy. They move around like crazy. The little cat guy is really funny too. I, I saw him outside and I, and I was like, is he doing damage to the uh, Cyclops? Because I saw like a green 113 appear every few seconds. Alright, fortunately that other enemy does not respawn. I see a Kodama up there. Probably an ambush over here. Surprise, there's not. Gosh. There's the Kodama. Noisy. This door, uh, how do I get up here? Oh, okay, we can't mantle or climb or jump, so we just have to be like, oh man, this is inaccessible. I don't know how I didn't fall over in that again, that's fine. Again? Okay, making all the noise. Damn it. Where's my torrent? Exactly. He's like the master of platforming. I'm not gonna lie, but riding torrent was so like, it was just intuitive. Like the controls were so crispy and moving him. Uh, now I don't say that, I don't think combat was amazing on it. I just didn't really use it much, but it wasn't bad, and controlling him in general was very, very intuitive and easy to do. I, I liked, like, that's actually one mount that I'm actually, yep, that's a good one. And I'm trying to think of another good mount. Shadow of the Colossus has a pretty good, a good uh, horse, and then, of course, Link has Epona, and Epona's pretty badass. Where was that other place? Oh, here's over here. Did not mean to do that. Let's go down here and maybe we can get the drop on those monk dudes. Those dudes that were like using all those talismans. A fire truck and a police vehicle. No, it was a, an ambulance and a fire truck. But it does sound a lot like the police vehicle. I, that's why I always look and like, dang, who, who, who did what this time? It's always something over here. Uh, okay, let's go this way. What is this? Oh, just sticks. Wood. Got two arrows. That'll come in handy. Oh, God. No. Very nice. We'll grab this item, too. Ah, damn. <laughs> Good guess. It sounds exactly the same, to be honest. I think they use the exact same horns. I'm not even kidding. All right, so far, this is a pretty straightforward thing. Who would dig a cave like this beneath a temple? Faith can certainly drive people to do incredible things for good or ill. Perhaps that was the power that Nobunaga feared. I'm going to read it this time. Okay. See, that one wasn't nearly as useful. Matter of fact, I would argue that wasn't useful at all. The other one about buffing the yokai, on the other hand, the one I didn't read, was incredibly useful. Oh, you're annoying. 
Now we're going low stance, and I'm going to come in close. I just don't know what that AoE thing does. Going to interrupt that if we can. Going to miss every single strike to lull him into a sense of security. What are you doing with your life? Good gosh. There's the damn wolf thing over there, the little fox. I'm going to kill him too. There's a difference between police sirens and ambulance sirens. It's so small. <laughs> they have less base. They have less of that oomph to them. Oh, okay. Here we go. I'm trying to see what color his eyes are. Let's just try to emote. I don't even remember how to do it. His eye, I can't even tell. Maybe they're yellow? Oh, he didn't like that. Did it work? It worked. Oh my gosh. It worked. That was crazy. He gave us stuff. That was so cool. That wall looked weird because I saw the wooden framing on the other on either side of it. And I looked back and I was like, hey, that's one of those walls. That is awesome. So his eyes were red. I thought they were yellow at first because I was looking at the uh, the actual the iris. But then I said, hold on. I saw the red eyes. That's where we fell down last time. Okay, very nice. Ah, they can hit me from there too. Lovely. It's fine, it's fine. Can't cast when you shot. Alright, I'm done. I'm done. He did a small bow indeed. That was freaking awesome, right? I thought that was so cool. Alright, hold on. I can't even fight this thing in this tiny ass area. It's got a lot more health than it looks like it has. Die. How did I miss that one attack? Alright, we got some Kaikadamas. That was so cool. I like doing that. Hopefully we can... I don't know if the trick is really the eye color like I'm thinking, but... We got lucky and he gave us multiple attempts. He didn't get too pissed. I have no... Projectiles. Nice. This dude's just chilling, so he's dead. That'll do it. All your books. Burning everything. Arrows. Monies. Well, at least we don't have to go back and fall down that hole. We know exactly where we left off. I don't think you're dead. He is dead. Okay. Posture. Oh gosh, you should see the way I'm sitting right now. My spine is like. <laughs> Hydrate and posture check. Thank you very much, chicken. What would I do without you? I wouldn't have been able to. Uh, yeah, I would never have found out about the yokai thing. Those rocks. My spine would be. Uh, completely worthless right now and I'd be parched I'd be dehydrated all things I don't know how to manage by myself <laughs> that is why you're here <laughs> okay where the heck this is literally the other side of it okay fair enough that was a cool little area I'm expecting a Kodama or something over here Elixir is just as well.
two strikes usually. Okay, perfect. Saving you from scoliosis, hell yeah. That stuff's no fun. And you're dead. Okay, perfect. So I remember coming around here. What killed me last time? Did I fall? Or what, what did I do? I must have gone right back down. Let's go grab this item really quickly behind this little temple. Gotta love that salt. Alright, so what do we got here? Kodama. This is the Kodama we're talking about on the other side. We saw him already. Very nice. Did that actually trigger? Yeah. Sometimes if you interrupt that animation, it will not actually send them back. Hello, friend. Okay. Made that a lot harder than it needed to be. We got another one of those stones here. Nobunaga has arrived. We're all going to die. Yes. True or false? Oh, really? A bent spine isn't fun? <laughs> yeah. yeah, when you're walking around like this? <laughs> Let's see. I will level up. Alright. I need a, a new spear. That's my goal. I want to spear it up. I don't know what... It seems like there's going to be a lot of lightning enemies in this level. So maybe earth. Uh, maybe water. That could be a thing. Nothing over here. We got a powerful yokai that we'll have to defeat. But it won't respawn, fortunately, so that's good. Oh, I saw you from a mile away, bud. Don't tell me there's some more spiders. I thought we were past that phase. Uh Oh gosh, another one? You can't jump, so good luck getting me now. How much health do you have? Those guys have way too much health. He's over there. <laughs> He's gonna go all the way around to get me. If he comes over here, I'll, he gets one free hit. I mean, that's just for the effort alone. Alright, got Bowman's armor, Casa. Very cool. Did this dude really come all the way over here? No, he didn't make it. Let's put him out of his misery. He couldn't figure out the steps. I have no clue where he went. Oh, lovely. These aren't so bad. I mean, I'm actually getting a little bit better at fighting them, too. There you go. That's got a lot more reach than it looks like it has. Come on, big boy. Get the rock. How did you hit me? You jerk. You have too much health and I want to kill you. We got a demon's horn, foreigner's armor, other cool stuff, an elixir as well. How did that not break up the defilement? Hmm. That was weird. That man does not want to lose his job. <laughs> He's dedicated. He, he sure. I don't know where he went though. I don't think I killed him, but I feel like he got lost. He might have actually gone back this way. 
So we can like prepare for his little ambush state again. I think that's what he did. Yep, see? He's like, I gotta get back to my post. You get a gold star. Gold star for you, sir. A whetstone. Whet. Oh, these are my favorite. I hate these enemies. You know what I need to do? We're staring down these uh, these yokai over here. Sure. Alright, you come over here. Two hit. I was in the wrong stance. I thought I was in high stance, so when I did my... <laughs> My square attack? That did not go as planned. That's okay. That is alright. I am going to break these just in case. I don't know what kind of range they have, so. Back to these dedicated workers here. I'm going to actually have to go start from this angle so I can kill this guy so he doesn't throw those explosive stones from up above because that's going to be annoying. Now I know I'm in low stance, but these guys don't like it at all, so it's perfect. Knock him off, see if I can do a punching attack. And he's still alive. These little bastards just don't want to die. Look at that. He got in some licks. Alright, we're going to run past. I'm going to switch to high stance. I'm going to destroy that. Just need one. Oh, I broke his horns. That's not what I meant to do. That was really awesome. I didn't know you could actually do that, but it's not what I was trying to do. Unfortunately, he regained his uh, key as soon as he created that defilement pool, so I wasn't even able to benefit from him having no key. This guy. Try to destroy the big crystal before you kill the big guy. Okay, I will. No, I definitely will because this guy I don't mind. So, oh, hold on. I think he's actually regenerating him. That's what's happening. Okay, so I do need to actually act pretty quickly here. It's going to be really tough to kill him like that. That's what that green 100 was doing. So I thought it was the cat doing like his little special damage, but that's not at all what happened. Alright, these guys are jerks. I got to get his attention. Alright, here you go. Yes. I'm gonna do a full low stance combo just to do anything here. Please. Oh my gosh, okay. That didn't work. I was literally a hit away, but it does regenerate health as well, so. Let's go ahead and heal. I'll try that again. These guys. The tongue dude is a nightmare anyway. I was panicking because I was trying to regain my stamina um, by doing the key pulses. I couldn't see the that stone's life bar. And I just saw the big dude and the demon on the other side and I panicked. Alright. Let's try that again. Gotta take out these guys again. Man, that's why I wish I had a like, kind of a really like more hand cannon ammo that'd be nice get wrecked it is not wise to try and destroy the rock while the demons are alive <laughs> I have made an observation well how do you defeat the demons then because they're going to regenerate health even the easy demon that one becomes a pain in the ass I 
didn't like that, did ya? Come here, genius. Mm -mm. I, I shot you in the ass, and you still... Okay. Fine. That hurt. That hurt. Run behind them and de-aggro then break the rock. Don't... The only, I can try that. I will try that. But the only thing I'm afraid of is what's behind them. You know, there's probably more enemies. Oh, let me destroy this too. I don't know if it matters, but uh, why not? Why not, I say? Take out these geniuses up here. And the thing is, I know that high stance does so much more damage, and it looks like I can do it, but you can't do more than two or three strikes, and it takes like four to five strikes. It really sucks. But I'll run past him. I'll try and de-aggro. Nice. Like, just zoom past him. Yeah, I will. Zoom passing right now. Alright. Oh, gosh. Okay. Oh, uh, there's like a... Oh, gosh. Okay. Hey, little Kodama. And lovely, okay. There was a well I think you can drop down, so. You're a genius. You're a genius. It's okay. You're still a genius. Because that was my execution. Come on, you're good, come get me. Over here, little demon guys. That's actually a really good strategy. I didn't think, I didn't know that you could get past them like that. Get wrecked, okay. Oh my balls. And this guy's, okay, lovely. Get you, son, okay, boom. Never seen that attack before, okay. Oh, and three. We've seen that one plenty of times. What are you doing? What are you what? What are you doing? That's a weird one. We've never seen that either. And three with defilement, yep. That's a pretty standard combo. Get wrecked, son. He didn't want to die, that's okay. And he's dead. Oh, that was ridiculous. Literally, I thought I had it, and then I fell right down a freaking hole. So that's cool. There's a Kodama down here, which is great. There's also a Kodama up there that I didn't save. Oh, what a freaking level. Oh, so those are Onmyo mages, and the ones with the talismans on their face. Alright, let's see if we can find our way back up. I do have a full gauge here. Demon over there. I'm trying to break through these boxes because I do want all the arrows and stuff possible. I need a bunch of uh, ranged weapons, if at all possible. I didn't even see him wake up or whatever. Okay, he's dead. So that's the way out, I'm, I'm assuming. That's that well. I guarantee on the other side of the well. Yep, it is right here where we destroyed him. Whoa, I guess did the enemies die too? Nice. I got a blue great spear. That's going to be pretty powerful. We have this pathway up here. We have the little Kodama we can save. Oh my goodness. Great strategy, chicken. As per usual, that was very clutch. That's why I always try what you say, because it typically works. <laughs> Not gonna lie. My strategy would have been much more painful. Right, let's drop back down here. They love ambushing you in this game. Okay, so we have the path to the left, which is the demon. Um, I think I checked this way. 
Ah. So the path to the right takes us right back up. So that's not important. One, two. Alright, he's dead. I don't need to fight this revenant. More geniuses. I don't know. Did they just demonify? <laughs> I have no clue. The Anmyo dudes or these dudes? These dudes always, when they wake up, that's what they do. Like, they, they make that weird, like, ah, oh, like zombie noise kind of like a spirit sounding thing and then they just wake up they animate a malicious presence something unlike demons uh oh don't tell me that all right we still have to go down the other pathway which of course had all the demons the demon that wouldn't respawn seriously i'm gonna get my critical here Oh yeah, I think they just dead. Like they just died, died. I don't know how. That's freaking awesome, isn't it? That was scary. Yeah, they just totally like undemoned. Going for low stance, chopping off all the limbs. That was a decent exchange there. Lightning Omamori charm. So again, we can expect a lightning based creature to face off with here soon yeah there's no way <laughs> no way oh nice. all right well sweet there's a set if i touch the save point sadly i will have to fight all these enemies again i don't feel like doing that so let's go back that one path and see if there's anything worthwhile Okay, this is an easy one. I say that and they can kill me like a hit, but still. Easier than a tongue, dude. It's not a tongue, dude. I'm fine. Big hit there. Easy does it. I need to get some distance here because that's kind of scary. I'm expecting the shoulder ram, so. Not familiar with that attack, so that's a new one. That's a grab attack. Alright, so he's dead. And I got a cool spear, too. Iwatsuki Jumanji spear and a demon horn. So I guess that was the extent of that, huh? Cool. We got a roaring gun. Oh, a Sakai rifle. Nice. Okay, cool. Getting some good stuff here. Let's check out our equipment really quickly. Go run up to the save point as well. It's not a bunch more damage, but it's not bad either. Final blow damage, close attack key reduction, close combat attack, enemies scorched. We can upgrade this one. Alright, sweet. Now let's head back up and uh, tag that save point. See how much further we can get. Trying to see what this spear looks like. So that's the one. Okay. This is the stronger. This one. Alright, cool. 
Uh, let's see, where was I? I fell down here, and then it's like left the demon, right to that, go up, all the way straight and out. Maybe it has a different move set since it's a great spear. It, you know, it doesn't. They actually have the same exact move set. I thought um, they would be different as well, and I equipped one in the last stream, and it doesn't seem to have anything different. Same exact move set. And I was also looking to see if maybe it'd have like that. Um, we called it the glaive. And I was looking for something like that, like maybe it would have a different move set, or or it was like a heavy, a strength-based weapon, or it scaled with strength, and it's not. It's the exact same. I just need to just call it a great speed. It just has a different design to it, like a, definitely a different visual thing. Mitsuhide. <laughs> okay, that's BS. Sometimes this game does uh, this. Sometimes this game's so cool, and sometimes it does. Yeah, exactly. Like I thought it'd be like a strength-based spear, and I was like, that would be cool, but it's not. Not even close. All right, what do we got? We got a big ass crystal over there. A bunch of demons. This kind of looks like an area I've already explored. Are these guys, yeah, never mind. It's not. We got all this over here, like the the woods type area, and then we have this little demon guy. He's probably blocking something, guarding something. And we got this clown. I'm gonna go ahead and take this one out first. Cause you'll probably throw stuff at me, won't ya? These have so much health. And he's trying to shoot me from afar. He can actually probably hit me over that rail, so I gotta be careful. We got this genius over here as well. Revenant that I'm not gonna fight. Oh my gosh. Alright. Fun, fun, fun. Try to destroy the crystal so we see what happens. Yeah, I'll try and actually destroy it and not fall through a hole this time. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna aggro this dude. Come here. Come on, camera. Actually, I want him further away. I want him further away. Come here. Oh, come on. He's too smart. He's a smart son bitch. Alright, come here. You know what? I have this, though. He instantly dies. Nice. Very nice. Let's go kill the archer. He's dead too. Oh, that's cool. And I missed an item up there. Legendary strategist garb and the moment talisman. That's really cool, right? Because I don't ever have to fight the tongue guys again as long as they're tied to a talisman. That is awesome looking. That's a really cool looking statue. Warlord armor. Let's go back up here. There are actually a few things we need to search for on either side of it. So I can grab this item. Yokai pot. We'll drop down here. I'm assuming this is probably just the other side of that, what I thought, what I called the woodsy area. Love that combo. Got a leather cord. Right, so that was the other side of that. Should be nothing else, right? Wrong. You missed. Oh my gosh, I killed all of them. And I died of that clown in two hits. I think I saw 600 or 641 damage I think came across. I'm like, "What? That's 1200 for two strikes." 
You guys are insane. I think that's where I came from. Okay. So then the demon to the right should be dead. Nobody respawned. And we have this over here. All these bastards. Kiku Ichimonji. That is really cool. I like that it uh, does that. Because those enemies are pretty strong as it is. So having a cool way to finish them off like that instantly. Even if it is a little bit risky. I like that. I'll take the risk every time. Alright, see if we can defeat this guy this time. Almost died again. How much health do you have? You little bastard. <laughs> I know, right? I love how you said you might stream like 15 minutes more. Well, honestly, to be incredibly honest, like I was going to just stop, but then I'm like, first, I'm enjoying it, and second, like you kind of got on a little late, so I was like, oh, I gotta give you a little bit more enjoyment, you know? Like, it's only fair, you know? For you to at least be able to see some stuff. So that's kind of why I did that. But yeah, I totally noticed I went over my my limit. But it's fine. I, I don't really mind streaming this long at all. I used to do the five hour streams all the time, but it's just, it was a lot and it was taken away from my content creation on YouTube. And that's where I, you know, that's where I'm most lucrative and that's I need to focus on that still because that's how I'm able to at least buy food. <laughs> So like that always helps. This looks familiar. But yeah, I, I definitely went beyond my little limit. It's a great game and I got great company, so why not? I'm gonna go this way, actually. And go check that other path out first. And then we'll probably end it soon after that for real. For reals this time totally just run past I haven't fallen down that hole either so no need to stream for me I watch the recordings later usually I won't miss too much <laughs> oh man it's cool nothing better than having like you know the live I think that engagement oh my gosh it's, it's worth it all that's Nue. Why is Nue an enemy now? He's a regular enemy. That sucks. <laughs> I bet if I fall down that hole, I come up from here. Oh my gosh. Hey! Another hot spring. We got these geniuses over there, just off in the distance. Somehow I have 32,000 Amrita. I guess those stones probably give you a nice chunk of Amrita. It always looks like you can run off the ledge, but you can't in most instances. Let's go say hi to this little Kodama. They're so well hidden by the camera when you're initially exploring an area. It's usually when you backtrack and when you see them. It's kind of neat. All right, let's go down and not die. Oh, my gosh. All right, might as well. go that was an excellent encounter we didn't die we didn't waste our living weapon either okay there's absolutely nothing here yet but we'll see we get all this stuff and then we have this passage way up here uh, another one okay so what color are your eyes I don't know, maybe my eye theory isn't right. He doesn't like that. Shit, shit, shit. It worked! I don't know what the theory was there. I just was like, I got two chances, right? Because I think the red eyes means he's pissed. Nice. I freaking love that. We gotta thank that kid if he ever comes back. That was awesome. I really like that. Let's kick this down for sure. And look, we got us a save point right here. 
perfect. Actually, since I didn't even kill anything but those little those little dogs and the Omnia dudes, I'm gonna go ahead and level up here. I think that'll be an excellent stopping point because we've pretty much come full circle. Immediately after we start up the next stream, we can go back in that cave, explore it. We'll probably come out on the top of that mountain overlooking that new way enemy. And then we'll probably have to beat him. And it'll be a great old time. Alright, body's going up to 45. And then after that, I'm just whatever else I need to get the max key and stuff. But anyways, chicken, as always, it's been pretty awesome. Lucky for you, you get to wake up at 8 a.m. tomorrow. Look at that. No more 5 a.m. nights, right? <laughs> Anyways, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much. For everybody that was able to follow, support, and all that today, really appreciate it. Chicken, get some sleep. You deserve it, my brother. Until next time, it's the Inhuman One signing out. I'll stream tomorrow at 2 p.m. I forgot to say that. All right, see you later.